Greg Chick, Ramonis Plumber here for DIYplumbingadvice.com. Today I'm going to talk about some alternate waters, rainwater and gray water, what they're good for and the differences. Rainwater falls cheap from the sky. You can collect it, you can store it, you can spray it, you can, you can do anything like that with it, but gray water on the other hand cannot be stored for more than 24 hours and cannot be sprayed. Now gray water comes from your bathroom sink, your shower, your bathtub, your laundry. Laundry for example, the new HET machines, 15 gallons a load. The older standard ones, 40 gallons a load. A shower, no, a real conservative shower is 10 gallons. A longer one is 20 gallons. A bathtub is double that of a shower, typically. So that's, that's your water uses. Bathroom sinks are not that much. Uh, now, gray water is, is usable on a daily basis every day, and it doesn't rain every day, so gray water is plentiful year-round. But because you can only use it underground, uh, it has its limitations. You can't save your lawn with gray water. With gray water. Now, rainwater, though, you can store it in a tank like this, you can spray it, and it's, it's much cleaner, it doesn't have bacteria in it, and you can save your lawn with, the, with rainwater stored in a tank. For more information on gray water and rainwater, go to DIYplumbingadvice.com. Can you do it? Yes, you can, and I can help. Thank you for watching.